global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello fam, welcome back to our channel. We have a trending news for you and this is all about Nigeria politicians, opinion seeking, opinion, freedom of speech and of course APC. You know fairly recently there have been issues within APC. Of course the APC members have clenched the air where persons believe that there is cacos within the cacos of APC and there have been fractions and super fractions within APC where uh, the uh, Tinubu led fraction and all that seem to have you know Adams and Shomele's fraction Doreen and the Adams and Shomele and Obasaki saga it really exploded, exposed a lot of things but somehow they've made amends every party have moved on and they have agreed to resolve their differences after all every every individual have their down times and the time they need to mend and it feels it looks as if they have mended their way but it didn't end there it looks like um internal squabbles have shaken one or two members and they have decided to speak and they're speaking very heavily as politicians are beginning to air their minds regardless of what the party will feel or where what platform they are representing as if trending news actually this one is a prominent apc member who spoke his mind he didn't care what comes out of it and he's an apc member but before we go to the news proper we do love you to subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so by clicking on the red subscribe button and the bell notification icon to get notified and subscribe as soon as we update our channel well the all progressive congress apc in mashi council of katsina state the steam state where the the president is from pardon me to say and has asked the house of representative member that's masha mashi to retract comments made against the president mahmoud buhari on risk recall now this particular lawmaker is from uh, a katsina the same state where the president is from Ironically, speaking on behalf of some members of the ruling party at a press conference, the chairman, Amayok Doka, said the comments belittled the APC and members of his constituency in Casina. It will really amaze you what he said that made a lot of persons to insist that he should be recalled or face or should retract the statement that he made of face records i must say it's a very heavy statement if you ask me but let's continue he said doka said the lawmaker who represents mashi dusty federal constituency has said that the only way nigeria will progress was for buari to go the way of Omar Yaradua, who died in office. We all know what happened to Omar Yaradua. For some of us, let's quickly refresh our memory. Omar Yaradua died in office as the president of Nigeria, the Republic of Nigeria, of which, you know, good luck, Abele Jenata now had to complete his tenure as the vice president, became the president of Nigeria, and started running the affairs of Nigeria. That's where he now brought in Sambo. Yes, yeah, Sambo, then the vice president. Now, Jonathan became the president simply because Omar Yaradua died in office. So he's now saying that same fate should be for uh, Buhari. I didn't say that. That's what uh, the lawmaker from Katsina State said that got his constituency members very angry. Let's continue. He said his words. The Honorable said Buhari had to leave the scene the way the late Yaradua did so that his vice, Professor Yemi Osibajo, would take over. And that's such, and that's such was the only way Nigeria could make progress. That's what he said. Let's continue. So according to the party chair, the lawmaker likened APC to a football team that had lost team and may never and may not be able to win majority votes in the next general election. Time will tell. Time will tell. Let's continue. He also said that Mashi, in an audio recording making the rounds in the state, described his constituency who voted him into office as ignorant and bunch of illiterate. Now that is going the other way. Let's continue. The chairman wondered why a lawmaker elected on APC platform should make such comment on Buhari, his constituency members, and the party that brought him on brought him to office the audio of what the old lawmaker said is out there for all to listen to it's able by the grace of god 
APC will win in 2023 general elections and the party will only continue to grow stronger. Let's continue. He said, we all call on APC to call him to order and the National Assembly to suspend him for making such comments. If our call is not heeded, we as members of his constituency have the right to take necessary action that is within the ambit of the law. And when we begin to take action, nobody should come and beg or ask us to refrain from what we are doing as we have allowed a venue for action to be taken against him. When contacted, Mashi said he would reserve his comment since the matter was under investigation by the police. Now that's the news. A lot of Nigerians have started reacting to what they have said because if you look at it very critically, that man is not just a politician, he's an adult. And the last time we checked our, our uh, Nigerian law, especially constitutional law, there's what we call freedom of speech. Of course, we don't know if we are still practicing in African democracy, where freedom of speech is guaranteed, but freedom of, after speech is not guaranteed. But let's quickly look at other Senate claims and comparing it with Nigeria. We have seen several times where Donald Trump, you know, have said things, very wonderful things. And people have also said things also very, very wonderful to him. He has not threatened the lawsuits, okay? He just spoke his mind. We still have what we call freedom of expression. He, that's his party member talking. He feels that, uh, the, the, I don't know, but it was, it was quite heavy if you ask me. Telling the president to go in the world for and do it, that's about wish, wishing him death. Well, then he knows what he's doing. He's an adult. If they said that uh, he neither denied the audio nor accepted that the audio was made by him. So, hey, let's continue. Let's read the pause of Nigerians because Nigerians are taking to their social media to react to this. A lot of persons are talking and they feel that coming from APC, you know, it has, uh, if, if coming from APC member, it seems weightier. You know than normal persons talking does the general believe that when your wife begin to testify against you in the in the full glow of the public is assumed to be true whether it is fallacious or not because it's believed that she knows you better than most people around because she has lived with you for a while now this is an apc member talking and he's saying what he feels is, is his own opinion and that's why his people are thinking he's going too far but telling the telling the law, law ch chambers to suspend them that may be taking it too high and in nigeria i know that retraction recall is possible is within the constraint uh, is conf, uh, cost, constrained in our constitution but the truth be told how many people have been recorded in nigeria successfully i'm not saying it's not possible but i'm saying uh, i think it takes a miracle in nigerian in nigerian democracy today to recall uh, a sitting lawmaker. Okay, but, but let's hear what Nigerians are saying over this. This one here is saying he's an adult and a politician. He's very much aware of the impact of his head opinion, which he's entitled to. Even if retracted, he has made his opinion known. Okay, this one here is saying, look at intimidation, so he cannot express his displeasure again, simply because he belongs to a political party. For goodness sake, he's a party member and not a covenant okay this one here is saying so there's still this one here is saying the northerners who don't want him to be recalled doesn't want him to speak i don't know this one here is saying that's his opinion and i don't think he should be crucified for it donald trump belongs to the republican party in the united states yet he gets so much bashing and criticism every day from his party members in the congress None of them has even been threatened with a recall. It seems our own version of democracy in this country is different from others, most notably since 2015 under APC. Well, a lot of Nigerians are talking. This one here is saying now that that's what we call a man, not the not what we are seeing here and there. But generally, all of them are just saying the young man has freedom of speech. Whether freedom of speech or freedom after speech, all is freedom of speech. Recall or not, some persons believe he has spoken his mind. And this is coming from an APC member. But then, they're calling that issue. But if you ask me personally, ah, no matter what the president have done, President, uh, uh, president Muhammad Bari shouldn't wish him death. I, I am not a party to that. You don't wish any man on the surface of the earth death. 
whether you like it or that's my personal opinion you may differ okay i don't wish death on that's the sitting president if you feel and he's a lawmaker if you feel that he's not doing fine then you people should start the process of impeaching him and you need a lawmaker bring out the reasons why he's not competent enough and impeach him rather than wishing him death that's too high you have the law in your hands you have the well with talent tools in your hand to impeach him if you feel he's not performing but calling saying that he should he should go the way of yaradua we all know what happened to yaradua he died on seat but that's my take on this I, you may differ i don't believe i don't think it's right wishing anyone death, particularly the mr president if you feel he's not doing well then do the rightful thing. You are already the lawmaker. You know the law. You are in the ambit of the law. You interpret the law. So do the needful if you feel that's right. But that's where I'm going to round it up. What's your take on this? Nigerians have reacted to this. Some of them are saying that he has freedom of expression. Nobody should intimidate him. Why he has, he has refused to comment on it because he's still under investigation. Let's meet in our comment section. What's your take on this? This is an APC member, a card carry member, a lawmaker saying